Hello, I'm Atubo Just Now, I remember what I promised yesterday that I'm going to continue for exactly from where I stopped. Now I was talking about the disciples of Jesus Christ. Now this is very important. The disciples of Jesus Christ, you know, when we, when we think of them, we just think, wow, wonderful people. How, how, would they, how would they have looked like? But you see something. When Jesus rose from the dead, they had a problem, a very big problem. What was the problem? After Jesus rose from the dead, he never appeared to them in the same form. Every time he appeared to them, he appeared in a different form. Now, I'll, I'll tell you why. So, you find Mary Magdalene, just at the tomb. Jesus had been raised from the dead. She came back. She came to look for him. She didn't find him. The tomb was empty. And then she saw this man. She thought she was, it was a gardener. And then she's like, sir, please, if you can tell me where you've taken him to, I'll be very glad. And then he said, Mary. The moment she heard Mary, she didn't look at him and say, oh, who are you? She responded, Rabboni. Like, I know that voice. Praise God. The, the, the disciples on their way to Emmaus, the same thing. Jesus appeared to them. He was talking to them. Now, they knew the voice. See, they knew the voice. But while he was talking, you know, I'm sure along the way they would look at him. You know, and I can just imagine Jesus having a good time. <laughs> and they would look at him. Like, okay. He'll continue. He'll say something. They will look at him again. Okay until they got to the house and, and they wanted to eat and Jesus said let's bless the food and Jesus took the bread and broke it and he said no this is only one person that does this thing Jesus and the moment they knew that the Bible said Jesus disappeared from and uh, uh, left them alone now why was he doing that because that is who he has been from the beginning. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Bible said the Word became flesh. Remember, Jesus prayed in John chapter 17, Father, it's time. I want to receive the glory that I had with you from the beginning. And that was the prayer Jesus was praying. I want to go back to who I was before. And who was he? Words. He was the Word of God. Praise God. Not, not flesh. So now, after Jesus rose from the dead, if you don't know his voice, you will never know him. Now, let me show you something in Matthew chapter 28. Matthew 28, verse 16 and 17. Very interesting scripture. Then the 11 disciples, now he's not talking about crowds, he's not talking about the, the other people. He had seven, Jesus had several disciples, but 11. Remember, he chose 12 people to be with him. So these were the people that were always with him. Now, watch. Then the 11, this is Matthew writing, not, not Mark or Luke. So he was there. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them and when they saw him they worshipped him but some doubted 11 disciples Jesus said come and meet me at Susuzu mountain alright sir we're coming and then they got there the 11 of them now when they got there when they saw him they worshipped but some doubted what were they doubting is this really Jesus? <laughs> this were the 11 disciples. Isn't that amazing? This were the 11 disciples. And they were like, but wait, too. are you sure this is Jesus? Or we should wait some more. He will still come. Those that, were, that are already used to him, when they saw him, they worshipped him. You remember when Jesus appeared to Peter and John, you know, when they went back to fishing. And then Jesus said, children, do you have any meat? Ah, no, we didn't catch anything. Say, cast your net. And then they, the moment they did, John tapped Peter. Said, Peter, it's the Lord. When Peter heard that, he jumped into the water. Because they, they, they just saw another man. You know, and he spoke to them. At first, they didn't get it. Now, that's what happened. Now, there's a reason I'm sharing all these things with you. Now, remember we're talking about the rapture. So we find out that the disciples were with Jesus and then he was parted from them and then he was taken up to heaven. Now when that happened, you will think that every one of them like, man, what's this? Remember, 
Jesus, Elijah, their, both of their own rapture was, was clear. And, and you can see the same pattern. Now there's something I want to tell you about the rapture. Number one, they were led to a specific place. They were told to go to a place. Two, they knew before it happened. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, why is this important? When it, this is not go, what we are expecting to happen is not going to happen different from this. So, number one, we will be led. Now, when I say, I, I, I want you to understand me. I'm not saying God is going to call all of us his children. Oh yeah, all of you gather at him. You know, like, like, like the, uh, some people believe that Jesus, everybody will be gathered at Mount Olives in Israel. No, not necessarily. See, but something is going to happen. Everyone that is going to be raptured is going to be led by the Holy Spirit to be at a certain place that day. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Now, I don't mean setting the world all congregates. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But everyone that will be raptured will be at the right place. Why would they be at the right place? The Lord will tell them where to be. Now, that's why the Lord said to me that when the, the, on the day of rapture, no plane is going to crash because the pilot was taken away. No car is going to have an accident because the driver was taken away. No machine is going to malfunction because the operator was taken away. No, it's not going to happen. So why do I know? Because just like Elijah, just like Jesus, just like Moses, we will be told where to be. And when we obey him and be where we are supposed to be now, if he will tell you where you should be, do you think he will tell you to go and pilot a plane if you're a pilot? Or go and drive a car, I'll be driving. No. He will tell every one of us. Because the Lord told me this, and I shared with you last week. The Lord told me, look, no one is going to hold me responsible. Now, that, that's because I'm not going to cause it. For any calamity that will happen on the earth because of the rapture. The rapture is going to be so glorious. So glorious. That, you know, the world is just going to be, what just happened? See? Because we're not just going to vanish. No, we are going to ascend. Praise God. We are going to ascend. People will see us go. So it's not a question of what happened, where did they go. No, they will know exactly that we went up. Maybe not everybody is going to see. But definitely, there are people who are going to see that we were taken up. So don't, 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 don't. Picture all those movies that you've watched. Praise God. I'll continue from here tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.